Welcome to Active Living at the Active Life. It's 2018 and it's time for you to get off your couch and get active at the Active Life. We have three locations in Troop County and we'd like you to come out and find out all the fun and exciting things that you can do uh, that will help you. That, that will help you to uh, grow uh, and uh, intellectually but also to, to remain healthy and active and meet new people and have great fun and so I just challenge you to do something in 2018 uh, to get active because that will make a difference to how you feel and all the different activities. Joining me now is Jane Anderson, a part of our leadership team in LaGrange who oversees our uh, exercise activities in our wellness center and other uh, parts of uh, our community and uh, Jane thank you for being here today. Well thank you for having me. We want to, to find out what exercise fitness health opportunities do older adults have uh, at the Active Life in LaGrange? We have everything that you would ever want <laughs> really? <laughs> to get in shape for the new year. Okay. What are we some of those? We start with uh, low impact basic aerobics. Okay. We have it Monday through Friday at 1030. On Tuesdays at 9.30, we have our Move It or Lose It. Ah. And this is special exercises just to improve your everyday living, your agility and your balance and your stamina. Also on Tuesdays, we have Tai Chi, the Advanced Tai Chi okay. at 11.45. And we also have Beginner's Tai Chi ah. at 8.30 on Thursdays. Okay. Line dancing, which everybody loves. We've had a lot of people join our line dancing classes. Good exercise and good for the brain, too, to remember all the steps. And so you've got some different levels on that. You've got a beginner's we class, do. and what day is that? We do. The beginner's is on Thursdays. Monday. Mondays. Mondays, is that right? Yeah, Mondays. And at what time? 1 o'clock. Okay. And Tuesdays at 7 p.m., would that's be more our, intermediate that's level. Right, okay. More advanced okay. line dancing. Morning stretch on Mondays and Fridays at 9:30 gives you some good stretching exercises okay. to increase your uh, stretchability in your older age. Um, balance class. We have a brand new balance class starting this month on Tuesdays okay. and on Fridays at 1 p.m. And, of course, ballroom dancing on Thursdays at 7. Oh, great. So, And then we have some other health edge. We have like a healthy living class. Is that correct? Healthy living class on, uh, on Thursdays. Okay. Great. And we have I think have there's our a 90-day um, challenge. 90-day challenge which is on kind of, Wednesdays. Right. It's uh, a lot like Weight Watchers, but okay. better. It's free okay. <laughs> to help you learn nutrition and, and ways to lose weight okay, for so, the new year. So most of these classes are free. They Is that are. Correct? Yes, they are. Um, there are a couple of them that have fees attached, mm -hmm. and that would be the advanced Tai Chi, is that correct? The Tai Chi. And uh, then and, uh, um, ballroom, ballroom dancing classes would have a cost to Ballroom too, has also? a fee, Okay, yes. all right. But that, that's a lot of free classes that are available that people of, could take advantage of. And those line dancing classes are all free too. They are so, all free, so. so they need to. Everyone needs to come and take advantage of these wonderful free classes yeah, and get in that's, shape for that's the new great. year. So the aerobics class lasts uh, how long? One hour. One hour. Okay. And what does that involve? It involves uh, strength with the weights. Okay. You work with the weights. And it involves uh, with the stretch bands. Therabands. Okay. Therabands. Um, sitting with the aerobics as well as some standing okay. and balance as So it looks well. like it's a real a variety of different exercises, aerobic mm -hmm. and strength. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, and flexibility. Okay, yeah. excellent. So that's okay. a good combination of an hour-long class and totally free. Totally free. And yeah, taught by volunteers day. like yourself. Yes, we try. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all have gone through some training in 2017? We have. We've gone through some excellent training with, okay. a, with a physical therapist. And we've learned some new moves, okay. some new things that can help everybody. Great. So what would you say to a person that is a little timid about getting out there, 
but they know they need to exercise, they know they need to get active, uh, how would you encourage them to? I would to say, please come and just try. Don't feel like you have to do everything that we, we do. Just do, come and do what you feel like doing. And uh, I think you'll see the difference. You'll find out later that you can do everything. Great. Well, little thank by you. Little. Thank you, Jane. Thank you for all You're you welcome. do. And uh, thank you for mentioning all these opportunities um, well. uh, that are available in the ground. Nobody wants to be stopped by a law enforcement officer. Everyone wants to feel safe. So we've trained our officers to first listen and then explain. We ask if you have contact with one of our officers. You listen, give him an opportunity to explain, comply with his requests, and if there's a problem, contact us so that we can investigate your complaint. Listen, explain, comply, then complain. Our safety and yours matters. Welcome back. We're talking about ways to get active, get off your couch, uh, gain energy, have fun in 2018. And joining me now is Mildred Smith. She's a part of our leadership team at the Active Life in LaGrange and helps to coordinate day trips. Uh, Mildred, thank you for joining us today. Come. Let's talk about some of the great day trips that we look back in 2017. Uh, that uh, the group here in LaGrange went on. So what are some that come to mind for you that were some of our larger or more interesting trips? Well, the Braves game was one. That was at the brand new stadium. That was the first year. That was the year. brand new stadium. Okay. It was very exciting. SunTrust. And then we went on the train ride ah. to Plains. Yeah, Southwest and, Excursion Train. Yes, and it was very good. And we also uh, went on the Lees and Apple. Oh, up to and, North Georgia. Right. And that was a very good trip. Everybody enjoyed it. We went to a new one this time, and uh, it was very good. Mm. Now, I, they all went to North Georgia also for a special occasion. Oh, yes. What was that? I'll never forget that. And that's the eclipse. Ah. And we had a good crowd for that. Very yeah. interesting trip. So when you take two buses, it's like 66 people, I think, oh, can yeah. go on those, it's very those good. trips. So yes. the eclipse was amazing, wasn't it? It was. It and was. ate at the Dillard House restaurant, is that correct? That yes, was really, it was. really nice. It was very good. So... So these day trips, uh, how do people sign up and uh, what, what takes place on one of the daytime trips? Well, most of the time on the first day of the month, everybody come over and sign up and I'm responsible for signing them up. Okay. And, uh, and then me, you and I get together and decide on the day trips. Okay. And so, and then we also have suggestions. Mm. And so that's a good thing too. So everybody have their input. Good. So good. that's very important. So you, so you gather together before a trip, you meet here and load up on the bus and head out. Is it a fun time to talk to people on the, on the road? And, it is, it's okay. very fun time. Okay. And, and you get to meet new people. And uh, you know, it's so many people signing up now. And so that's good. Okay. So we fellowship, have fun. This is the best, best place to be wow. for seniors. I heard like in the last three months of 2017, 130 something people joined oh, yeah. the center. So a lot of, lot of new faces, a lot of new people coming in. I guess that want to take advantage of some of these uh, trips that they hear about. Right. Now these trips sell out pretty quickly. They sometimes. do, they do. Just like the, um, uh, Mercedes trip. Mer yeah, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Right. Okay. It sold out, I guess, around 11. Yeah, okay. And so we had almost, we had the same amount of standbys. Okay. So oh, that's, that's... That's wonderful. And so that's coming up soon. And so that'll be a tour of the brand new Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta where the Falcons play. And that should be an interesting... Uh, look behind the scenes of uh, what, what that new stadium has to offer. Right. And then also we get to eat at Mary Mac. Uh -huh. Everybody loves Mary Mac. Okay. 
<laughs> that's a neat restaurant. And so I think sometimes the day trips, one draw to people is the fact that we do different types of restaurants, really interesting restaurants. I think food, sometimes people, I think, come more for the food <laughs> yes. than the activity. <laughs> Yes, I hear a lot of people talk about the food. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's neat when we go to different restaurants and experience different. Now, there's another trip going on coming up, and that's to the College Football, Football Hall, Hall of, Fame, of Fame, and that's in Atlanta, and I think the uh, lunch will be... At the Varsity. Oh, at the Varsity, okay. Yes. So, so somebody could sign up for that and, and uh, be a part of that great trip and uh, learn more about their favorite college football team. Right. And so they, on, on the trips that, that people go, there's, um, I noticed that there's a little uh, men, walking men on a trip to tell how much walking level. And so that some of the trips have very little walking and then some have more walking. Is right. That, is that true? When you see one little man, it's a little walking. Just a little Two, walking. Two, a little bit more. And three, it's a lot of walk, right. walking. Yeah. And if you have a picture of people rappelling off of the mountain, then you know that that's a little strenuous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I joke about that, but we had one of our members for years that recently, I think last year, went skydiving, tandem diving, and uh, to celebrate, I guess, her birthday. And it's amazing. And she's, I think, in her 80s. And that's... Uh, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Oh, it is. People getting Especially active. Especially at 80. Yeah, not just sitting around. You know, people. there's a lot of neat things to see just within a couple of hours of LaGrange. Oh, yes, it is. So They always told me, a body in motion, stay in motion. Okay. <laughs> That's a good little slogan. Wow. <laughs> well, I just appreciate all that you do in LaGrange at the Active Life to help get older adults, to get out and see new places and walk around. And sometimes... Uh, exercise and they don't even realize they're exercising. That's right. That's by, right. By doing some of these day trips. Well, thank you for joining us today, Mildred. You are so welcome. I appreciate it and I enjoy it. Why United Way? Because 99 cents of every dollar donated to United Way of West Georgia stays right here to help your neighbors. Yes, 99 cents. United Way makes every penny count. You can count on United Way, and United Way of West Georgia is counting on you. Please give today. Welcome back. We have Nancy Perdue joining us. <laughs> Uh, leadership team member, longtime member of the Active Life, right. and Nancy does uh, almost everything. But uh, <laughs> we're going to focus in on she helps to um, pick the wonderful Wednesday programs that right. we have. She also helps us with our medical screenings. Uh, but um, we're talking about in 2018 staying active, and one thing is to keep our minds active. Right. And uh, we have great educational programs here at the Active Life. And uh, let's talk about some of those programs that maybe as we look back at the last several months that stand out to you, uh, that we've had speakers that may be interesting to some of our people out there. Wonderful. We try to keep not only educational but entertaining as well. And we've been so fortunate to have our uh, people out in the community to volunteer to come out to work with us and, and to share their knowledge with us. It's been really great. In fact, yesterday we had a wonderful program sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce uh, and her topic was, Are You Surprised? And were we ever surprised mm. to know just how wonderful our community is here and, and some of the things that she brought out. Um, we have coming up next Wednesday a memorial service which we do on an annual basis where we uh, pay tribute to the members that we have lost in the previous year. And during 2017, I think it was close to 30 members, is that correct? Yes, that, that we lost, uh, and, but we will do, be doing a memorial program honoring them. Mm. Uh, 
We have safety programs, we have medical programs, we have doctors coming in, pharmacists. One of the programs we're going to be having this month that we're featuring on is our drug program to know whether we are taking the right kind of medications oh. or if our medications are being duplicated. Uh, and we do have what we call the brown bag thing where uh, they check our medications yes. to find out if, if we're doing right. So this is a local pharmacist that will come and talk about That's medication correct. safety. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, it was interesting that the Chamber of Commerce program she had a lot of questions that our group was able to answer because they had come to the program. Exactly. Because we've had speakers from the city and the county to come talk about the new developments that are going on and new uh, plans and programs and uh, opportunities for uh, people in our community. So right. I was impressed by how many how many questions they got right. And I was impressed with the attitude that our people took doing that. They had so much fun and hot shouting out answers and, and they were really pleased with the program yeah. yesterday. <clears throat> so uh, you covered like medical, we have doctors to come in to speak, other healthcare professionals, safety talks. We've right. also had law enforcement, right? Right. The, uh -huh. the sheriff and the sheriff's office and the police department comes in, the fire department uh, bringing in information and, that can be valuable uh, regarding safety. Right. And I I think we have a, a state patrolman coming in to talk about some of the issues that our people have been fussing about, and, yes. and so he'll put us right in that alley. Well, so. thank you for what you do with that, and also you help with medical screenings. We have about once a month that people can come in and get it tested. And right. then another thing I want to mention before we uh, move on, and that is that you help people that have uh, difficulties with their billing, especially in the area of insurance. Exactly. Oftentimes people will get billed incorrectly from their medical provider because they have it mixed up with the Medicare and if there's another insurance provider. And uh, you've helped several people and somebody that had several thousand dollar bill, right? Exactly. And it turned and out they ended up with how much? How much? Zero balance. <laughs> and yeah. she stood here and cried for 30 minutes when uh, we finally got the zero balance well, because this had been going on for several months. But uh, they had used the incorrect coding number. Mm -hmm. Also, they had not used Medicare as the primary. They had used the insurance as primary. And so this made a really big difference wow. in what she really owed. So when we got through, she didn't know anything. So Well, that's wonderful because Nancy has gone through training with uh, Georgia Cares and all about Medicare, and she's able to provide good insight for that. So thank you for all you do here at the center. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Alright, uh, excellent. Why United Way? Because United Way of West Georgia helps support 25 local organizations. Organizations that make life better for all of us. Yes, 25. There's no easier way to help so many of your neighbors through a single donation. When you give to United Way of West Georgia, you help a lot. Welcome back. We just talked with Jane about opportunities to get healthy and fit, but what about making a difference? Uh, the quality of life so often is tied with our volunteer efforts and how we help other people. And joining me is Sharon Alford. She's Vice President of the United Way of West Georgia. Thank you, Sharon, for being here. Thank you for having me. And so we want to find out about how somebody can make a difference in our community. We're really blessed as a community for all that we have to offer. And uh, if somebody wanted to help other people that had special needs, um, the United Way is a great place to turn, both financially and also volunteer wise yes it is um, it, it's a wonderful opportunity for people in the community to get involved um, we currently fund 25 different agencies um, we we go out in the community and raise money to be able to give those agencies um, a lot of times we have people that will call and say you know I, w I would like I'm interested in children but I don't know how to get involved and so they call our office and we pair them up with an agency one of the 25 um, and Active Life is one of those agencies, and we give them um, an avenue to be able to volunteer and get involved in the community through Excellent. volunteerism. Wow. 
That is great. Yeah, the Active Life is a proud agency of the United Way of West Georgia, and we're just so thrilled to be a part of it. And uh, the funds that are given from the community really make a difference. Well, if somebody wanted to not only volunteer, but also support financially, how would they do that? Well, we primarily run workplace campaigns where we go out into the community, um, into the businesses, and we run campaigns and people are given the opportunity to give either through payroll deduction or a one-time gift or a credit card, however they would like, whatever uh, is easiest for them. Um, they're able to give and um, that helps fund those agencies. Mm. So we, it's that way. We also have um, retirees and people just out in the community that want to give. Um, they can certainly um, call our office and, and um, donate that way. Or um, we also have a website and they could go to that website okay. and just Google United Way of West Georgia and you'll, you'll find us right there. Um, and they're able to donate online. Um, through through a credit card or debit card. Uh, so we try to make it as easy as possible for people to be able to give. And when they do give, um, one of the wonderful things about United Way is that 99 cents of everything that we raise stays right here in our community. That's wonderful. We send 1% of what we raise um, to United Way worldwide, and we get that back in training and support from them and the logo and just lots of um, Lots of things that maybe everybody doesn't see, but we see as a staff and as a, an organization that we get benefit from. But you know, most organizations, if you if you donate, a lot of times it's really different from that. Yes. Um, so we're really proud that 99 cents of every dollar stays right here um, to help people in our area. That's amazing, and also there's accountability. Um, and one thing that United Way has built into the system is is to not just give the money to the agencies, but the agencies are looked at very carefully that they're handling the funds properly. Is that is that correct? That is correct. And actually, we're about to go through that process right now. I know you love that process. It's um, called the allocations process. Um, and that's where the agencies every year have to submit um, lots of information to us, a budget, um, what they're requesting, why, like if you need an increase, you would tell us why. Um, you would give us statistics on who you're serving. Um, just a lot of information every year that, you, that the agencies submit to us and they request their funding for the next year. And the way that we go about deciding how much those agencies get is one of the best parts about United Way to me. Um, and this is a way that anybody out there listening can get involved. Um, we solicit volunteers from all across the community to come together. Um, we put them on a panel and we assign that panel several agencies. Mm -hmm. And over a process of about a month, um, they go visit the agency. You know, you, you can um, talk to that about how they come here, they see what you do, they look at your budget, they have questions, they ask mm -hmm. it. Uh, it's just a really thorough process. And then they make a recommendation back to our board as to how much that agency will be funded. And what happens is that those people fall in love with those agencies. Um, and so we always, if we're out in the community and we're asking people to give, and we say, well, uh, we have several people in our, our workplace that just are not fond of United Way. We said, well, if you could please ask them if they would volunteer to be on the allocations process. And once they go through that process, they're so excited about what United Way is doing. Usually they turn out to be some of our best supporters. That is that is fabulous, and it, it is important that people know when they give money that that money is just not haphazardly given out without uh, accountability, and exactly. they'll do a great job with that. And I appreciate it. And it, yeah. again, the opportunity for people to see firsthand what has taken place in these 25 agencies is powerful. Right. Uh, to know that our community is so much a better place because of those 25 agencies. So it really we appreciate is. Uh, what. Now tell us about the staff of the United Way. Well, um, Patty Youngblood is our president, um, and I am vice president, and uh, we have a newly hired uh, Grace Bellon. She's um, new in town, and she's our office administrator. Okay. Uh, also in our office is Gail Gordon, and she is our success by six coordinator, and Pam Vaughn um, works with that program as well. Okay. And they do a great job concentrating on early learning. Um, as you know, throughout our whole community, everybody's trying to get on the um, reading by third grade level um, goal through our strategic plan um, for our community. And it's just a wonderful way. Um, we're focusing on before the kids get to the school system. And the school system and lots of organizations are working from there to try to get all kids okay. reading on grade level. Um, 
And so they're doing a great job trying to, um, one thing is to get books out into the community to children mm -hmm. um, because the dropout rate is tied very much to whether you read on third grade level or not. Wow. So our whole community is really coming around that. Okay. We've been working really hard for years on that um, aspect of the early learning before they get to school. So Gail and her staff, they do a great job Excellent. with that program. Wow. Now, if somebody again wants to reach out to find out mm -hmm. more, maybe they're homebound and they would like to still make a difference through uh, contributions mm -hmm. or uh, helping in another way, uh, is there a central telephone number they yes. should call? What is that telephone number? It's our office. It's 706-884-8292 um, and that's our United Way office. We do a lot of referring out of there, like I said, for volunteerism um, or people that need assistance or if you'd like to donate, we would love, we can help you, um, we make it as simple okay. as possible. All right. Well. Um, Thank you for joining us. And again, some of the the big agencies that people immediately know that they make a difference: Red Cross, mm -hmm. Boys and Girls Club, right. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, right. Salvation Army. You know, I, I don't want to leave any out, but I just wanted to give right. those so people know uh, the difference that those agencies make to our community. And thank exactly. you and the the team there for all that you do uh, to make that possible. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And thank you to our community who has always been, they've just been wonderful supporters of United Way and helping people in our community. Why United Way? Because in some way, everyone in our community is touched by your donation to United Way of West Georgia. Yes, everyone. United Way helps 25 local agencies touch thousands of lives, even yours. To cause so many good things to happen, these organizations must have volunteers. Fortunately, more than 2,300 local volunteers are now giving time to the 25 local organizations that United Way of West Georgia helps support. Yes, more than 2,300 volunteers. But more are needed. Please volunteer your time, as well as your financial support. You'll be astonished at what you'll receive in return. I'd like to thank each one of you for joining us today for Active Living at the Active Life. Uh, we've talked about opportunities that you can get active, that you can get up and get out and uh, have fun and make a difference. And uh, so I just wanted again, uh, mention a couple of other opportunities. Uh, dancing, uh, we talked about line dancing, but we've got ballroom dancing. We have a country music dance. It's the third Saturday of each month. Uh, there's opportunities to travel, not only day trips, but bigger multi-day trips. Uh, we just went to New York City and Washington, D.C. a couple of months ago. Uh, Myrtle Beach, uh, coming up in a couple of months, we're going to France. Uh, so some of you uh, would like those kind of experiences so that you can uh, go to places you've never been. Uh, our next uh, multi-day trip we'll be signing up for is to Mackinac Island and we'll be going to see Noah's Ark, we'll be going to Detroit, uh, all kind of interesting places uh, that are chances for you to get active. But the most important thing, uh, the reason you should come to the Active Life in LaGrange or Hogansville or West Point is that you get to meet people and spend time with them. And one of the secrets to longevity and good quality of life is uh, friendship. And that's one of the main purposes we have the Active Life is so that you can find friendship and support. As you grow older, aging's not for the, the weak of heart. Uh, we need support, we need friendship. So I encourage each one of you to get out, uh, come to the Active Life in the community that you live in and uh, participate and find out. I bet you you'll find out in just a couple of months that your life has improved. So thank you again for joining us. Have a wonderful week and Happy New Year. <laughs>